Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be going over how to hack Facebook Messenger's Fairy High Dive game. So we're going to be using Cheat Engine 6.6 .6 again. So if you don't have that downloaded, I'll leave a link in the description for it. But let's first off start by getting the process ID of our tab. So in Google Chrome, you can just go up to this bar over here. You can right click and hit Task Manager. And we're looking for Tab Messenger. And it's process ID in this case is 1892. So I'm going to take that and convert it to hex. So in the Google search bar, you can see 1892 to hex. So we're looking for this process ID within Cheat Engine. So we're going to go over to the, the search process icon, open that up, and we're looking for 764. So it's right here. We're going to open that up. It's asking me if I want to load a table from the last time I used Sheet Engine. It's going to say no. So now that we have that together, we can go into the game. And the first thing that we're going to hack is the score. So we're just going to change the value of the score. So let's go ahead and do that. So we know the initial value is going to be zero. So we can go ahead and get that ready. But we're going to want to set it to all because in this case it's not going to be for byte value it's actually going to be double but if you didn't know what kind of type it was you'd select all so go ahead and hit climb and we're going to hit first scan while it's still zero and we're going to have to score some points so we got 100 right there that's good so now it's 600. So let's search for 600. Next scan. All right. Now if we hit play again, it should go back to zero. So let's just get that ready. So play again. Now we search for zero. But let's first go into the game just to be safe. Next scan. All right. Now our score is 200. So I mean, there's 100 addresses here. You could probably just search for the one that's 200 or just type it in here. Next scan. So this is our health value. Or sorry, not our health, our score. Okay. So as you see, once we exited, it reset it to zero, which is what we expected. So let's just go ahead and my current high score is like 70,000. Let's just do 100,000. Okay. So, I mean, this won't apply until you actually uh, beat the game. So, let's just go ahead and die. And as you can see, my high score is now 100,200. But let's say if you wanted to play the game in a more legit manner, but have infinite health. I'm going to show you how you can go about and do this. It's a little bit harder, but I think it's a lot more fun. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to be able to do is pause the game. To do that, go to this edit tab in Cheat Engine, settings, and we're going to go to this hotkeys, and then there's a pause the select process. So I already have mine set. You can change it to whatever you want, but you just hit shift, and then whatever key you want on the board, so I can do that, or I can clear it. But I'm gonna leave it with Shift P, because that's what makes the most sense to me. Then you're gonna hit OK. So now anytime you're in Cheat Engine, you can hit Shift P to pause it, as you can see. It's already paused right here. And then Shift P to unpause it. This is gonna be uh, crucial in trying to narrow down what the health is. So we don't know the initial health value. So what we're gonna to have to do is an unknown initial value the type's going to be all, and uh, we can do our first scan now. And now we have everything scanned. We're going to want to do decrease value because we know our health is constantly decreasing. So let's go ahead and climb, pause the game, shift P, or whatever hotkeys you set it to. And let's just do a decrease value next scan. And just keep on doing this and just grind away. Shift P, next scan. And that's basically the general uh, process of it. So I'm going to narrow it down because it takes a little while. 
and uh, I'll come back to you guys once I have it down to just a few. All right, so I have the addresses narrowed down to about 28 of them with uh, certain values that have been decreasing over time. So what I'm gonna do is just take a look at these and if there's anything less than zero, I'm just gonna cut it off because I'm making the assumption that once you run out of health, your value should be zero. So we're gonna look for values bigger than zero. So I cut out four of them, which is too bad. We can still see here, this is, this isn't zero, this isn't zero. It's close to it, but. All right. So if we keep track of this, if this pops up, you can just hit wait. That's just because it's being paused. There's no, no need to freak out or anything. So the value that we're actually gonna take a look at is this one right here. So your total health is out of one and the rest is a decimal. Uh, so we can call this health. So what we can do is if we really wanted to, we can set this to one and then unpause the game. And you can see it went back up, but it instantly went back down. So what we're gonna do is activate this health so it would be constantly overwritten. To be safe, you can uh, do like 1.5. I just like to do two. Uh, doesn't really matter. I mean, if you go higher, you could potentially break it, but anywhere between one and two should be fine. And all you have to do is click this activate box over here. And when the X shows up, that means this value is gonna be constantly overwritten with the value two. So as we go back into the game, you'll see what happens. So let's unpause it. And you can see our health is not dropping at all. So, I mean, this will go on for as long as this box or right here is checked. As soon as you want to die, you can just uncheck it and let it go. So this is kind of a more legit way to, uh, I guess I shouldn't say legit, but just, uh, I think this way is a lot more fun. So what I'm going to do is just kind of see how high I can go. And then I'll, I'll come back to you guys on the way down. So we've gone as far as we can go now. We're in space. Uh, it just keeps on going on and on forever. So what I'm gonna do now is just set my score one last time because I wanna get a new high score. So I'll give it the base value of 100,000. And then what I'll do is disable this health right here. So I'll just check the box. And then as you can see, uh, it started off at 100,000, now it's adding up. All right, so we made it to the bottom. I set my new high score, as you can see, it shows it right here. And uh, that about wraps it up for the video. If you guys liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you have any further suggestions for videos or games I should hack slash make in the future, go ahead and let me know. And you can do that by just leaving a comment in the comment section. Thank you guys. Bye.